Our confidence is in Jesus. He's our firm foundation. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand. Today, we are going to learn about the spirit of affliction and oppression. Roho ya kufinyiria. Now, this is a spirit that has roots of old. And the, when the spirit of oppression enters into a family, it oppresses that family and it seeks and looks for generations so that it can continue oppressing and oppressing and afflicting. So today we are going to see on this spirit of oppression and we must defeat the spirit of affliction and oppression. We must look on ways on how we get out of the spirit of oppression. Roho ya kufinyiria. Roho ambayo inashikiria familia ili kufinyiria na kuhakikisha ya kwamba even your children are afflicted. And that spirit is a evil spirit which we must defeat and overcome. Praise Jesus. I, will, I want us to find the root of this spirit from Egypt in the book of Exodus chapter number 1 and verses number 8. It all started after the king who knew Joseph arose and there was no people who knew what Joseph had done to Egypt. The Bible says in verses number 8, now there arose up a king over Egypt which knew not Joseph. Kurinuka mfarume ambaye hakumujua Yusufu. Because if they knew who Joseph was, they would honor the children of Israel. But there arose a king who did not know Joseph. And a time comes when your good is covered and is not displayed and is not known by anybody and there is no reason why people will have mercy on you. The Bible says there arose a king who did not know Joseph. Who did not know what Joseph mean to Egyptians. Verses number 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. So now he began to look to things according to themselves. He began to look into the interests of of the people of Egypt. And he began to see that there are a people who are here in Egypt and began to evaluate them and to see what they have and their strengths. And he concluded that there are a people of the children of Israel who are mightier than us. They are many and mightier than us. The world does not want to see you greater than them. The people of the world does not want to see you grow past them. They want you to be down there and row there. So now he began to look to the progressiveness of the children of Israel and said they are many and mightier than us. Any time you become mightier than the world, the world began, begin to become mad with you. So now, verses number 10, he says, come on. The oppression is now be beginning to form. Let us deal wisely with them. Ah. Sasa tuwaanze kupambana na wao kwa ujeuri. Kwa ujanja, roho ya kufinyiria inaaza kwa ujeuri, kwa ujanja. Let's deal with them 
waisri. Rest they multiply. Ili wasiongezeke. Inua mkono useme ni taongezeka wapende wasipende. Hallelujah. You know there is a spirit that has already been assigned so that it keep his eyes on you so you will not multiply. You know. There is a God demon, a God spirit assigned purpose to see that you do not multiply. In a time you want to multiply, the spirit gives back the report. There is a report that the man will multiply, the woman will multiply. It gives back the report on the progressive that is about to come to you. And so now, if you read the same scripture, let us deal wisely with them. Let us, lest they must multiply and come to pass that when they are filling out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Verses number 11, therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. Hallelujah. You know who task masters are? Watu wakukushugurisha. Watu wakukueka busy. So that you will not have time to multiply. You will not have time to increase, to, to continue to be blessed. There are some task masters. Yani watu wakukubebesha mizigo. To afflict them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasures, treasures, cities Pidom and Ramses Hawa ni watu wakukushugurisha na Bibiria inasema wakushugurisha na mizigo yao it is not about you it is burdening you with their burdens. The Bible says they built for Falau cities for treasures. Wakamujegea Pidom and Ramesh. Wadijegea Falau mahali ya kueka hazina. These children of God to be burdened with their burdens. Washugurishwe na shuguri za wegine ili wasahau kupanuriwa, wasipanuke, wasipate na fasi ya kujishugurikia. So now, anytime this spirit is working against a people, they meddle a lot with other people's businesses. Utaweza kuona watu wanaongea tu mambo ya siasa. Eh angalia tu watu wanaongea tu mambo ya siasa. Task masters business is to put burdens on you. To put ideas which you will continue talking about, discussing in your meetings so that you will not have your own time to build your own empire, to build your own economy, to build your own businesses. You are assigned task masters. And the Bible says that they may not multiply. Dio wasiweze kuongezeka. Dio wasiweze kujijenga. Let us put on them task masters. And many, most of the time you do not know why you are operating the way you are operating. Many times you are operating the way you are operating because there are God spirits. Unajua God demon inafanya kazi namna hii. God demon ni ya kukuangalia vile unafikiria na mahali unaenda. And there are people, kuna watu hata akitaka kufanya kitu kadogo anaanza kuogea, anaanza kuwabia watu. Unajua mimi nataka kuweka biashara, eh? Nataka kuweka biashara. Nataka nianze kuenda Uganda na nianze kununua huko madizi na miwa nitaenda huko Kakamega ninunue miwa huko Kitare nilete huku 
nitanunua mashini ya kufinya hiyo miwa na ninauza juisi ya miwa Oh the God spirit okay that is the plan that you have anakimbia bio anasema he want now to increase he want now to make a business he want now to multiply now the task masters wanakuja unasikia mama yako amewekwa ugojo wa nyumbani hiyo ni task master watoto wako wamekataa shule dugu yako amegojeka mutoto amegojeka amelala hospitali sababu ulitoa siri ya vile maono yako yalivyo God spirit akapeleka habari ya kwamba sasa unataka kupanuka hata ukiambiwa kuna katenda unapewa ukiambiwa kuna katenda unapewa nyamaza si unasikia ile wimbo ya heze dungu sio watu wote wanaambiwa doto wana wetu waziwe sana kuna watu ukiwaambia doto yako haitawaitimia wameweka wabeba mizigo wakushughulishe ili usipanuke Bwana wetu azivie sana. Na hii dunia imejaa watu wabeba wa kukubebesha mizigo. Utaweza kuona mtu ame anaambi yangu yeye ndiye mzuri sana kwa kupika chapati ya wageni. Unajua kuna watu wanaweza kukubadika wewe ndio mpishi bora zaidi wa kupikia wageni. Na kwa hivyo haupatikanagi kwa shughuli zako kwa maana you are already in a task. Wewe umewekelewa muzi mzigo kuna wengine wanaweza kukwambia wewe unajua kuogea sana kwa udhoni. Kwa hivyo every Saturday wewe ndio unaenda kuogea wapi? Task. Njoo nilisoma Ecclesiastes chapter number 4. Kwaeredhi wanasema, I am so black because my brothers has kept me in their gardens. Nimeenda kulima mashaba ya watu but I forgot to to do my own garden. Nilisahau shaba yangu. Silimagi kwangu. Sishughuliki na bibi yangu. Kazi yangu ni kuenda kuogea kwa maharusi. Ninajua kuogea sana kwa maharusi lakini ukiangalia kwangu mimi siogeagi kwangu. Ukiangalia mtu yule ambaye anaenda kila mahali hata mazishi. Shetani anaweza kukushughulisha kwa mazishi. Ukisikia mazishi iko iko roiro bora ujue tu kuna your friend kama kuna your friend wa correlated tulisikia mahali mengine tukiwa kwa, kwa mkutano mheshimiwa mmoja akisema ati alienda kwa mazishi na huku kakamega akapewa microphone ya oge akasema huyu mzee ako hapa na alikuwa mama huyu mzee ako hapa sasa master of ceremony akaenda akamwambia ni mama si mzee <laughs> sababu ye anataka tu aingie wapi kwa mazishi hata haelewi ni nani anazikwa anatoka from very far anaenda very far kwenda mazishi they are task masters watu wa kukushughulisha ili usahau na mambo zako salia salimia mtu mwambie wacha kushughulika na mambo ya watu sana you know <laughs> they are task masters to put you a lot of businesses so that you forget your own businesses unasahau mambo zako watu wa kukushughulisha siku ziende mwaka uende mwaka uishe ukiangalia ulifanya nini mwaka huo there is nothing you did nothing because you were full of burdens unakuja unapata your own house unapata mtu mwingine hata ije yake imejaa nyasi hapatagi wakati wa kufia kanyasi kwake ije wete mbele ya watu uone wameshughulishwa wamejisahau wameshughulishwa hata vyobo kwao hawaoshi hata nguo zao hawaoshi shamba yao hawalimi manake shetani amewapea task masters haleluya verses number 12 of the bible says but the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and they grew and they were grieved because of the children of Israel hallelujah 
Inua mkono useme haijarishi wamenisumbua kiasi gani. Mm. Haleluya. The seed of God. Begu ya Mungu. No matter how you afflict it. If it is a seed of God. No matter how much you oppress it. The word of God says the more they oppressed them, the more they afflicted them, the more they grew. Inua mkono useme niko na roho ya kuederea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na sijari You know the Bible says there is no amount of afflictions that anyone will plan against you that you will succeed. They will try to plan. They will try to bring you down. But the Bible says the afflictions of the righteous are many. But the Lord delivers them from all of them. That is what the Bible says in, in Psalms 34. Verses number 19. The afflictions of the righteous are many. Una sukumo upande wa kushoto. Una sukumo upande wa kulia. Manake kuna taskmasters wale waliowe kwa wakutese. Hili usiede. And they say, how watu waki increase. How watu waki multiply. Arafu kutoke vita. Wataungana na maadui zetu. Watatupiga. Arafu wataenda. Wataponyoka. The devil wants you in bondage. The devil wants you in poverty. Satan wants you sick. Satan wants you crying every morning. Crying every day. The devil wants you sick and crying. Sijui kama unajua kuna wadugu wegine. Kila wakati. Asema siku zuri. You know. The devil is happy when you say siku zuri. Kwanza hii januari, kumeharibika, biyashara ni baya. You know, Satan won't ask to continue singing that song. Siku zuri, kazi si zuri, ekonome si zuri. Praise the Lord. But the day that the devil will see, unaza kuiba wibo mpia. The Lord is good. The economy is good. I am eating from the table of heaven. Satan hataki hiyo. Hiyo narrative. Lazima uretewe task. Masters. Ugonjwa, uingie. Shida, zingie. Hata unaweza kuona tu kaju wamekuja kwa, kwa kazi yako. Wamebeba matuda yako. Na wajari. Hallelujah. Naweza kuona kimambo tu kimekuja. Sababu, shetani hataki unawiri. Katika kile unacho kifanya. So now, Genesis 31 Twenty Genesis thirty one, the spirit of oppression. Verses number thirty eight. The man Jacob went to live with his uncle Raban, and Raban is a Syrian, and you do not know oppression until you find a Syrian. This is Anko to Jacob, but a Salian. And Bible says in verses number uh, 39, These 20 years have I been with thee, thy hours and thy she goats have not cast their young, and the lambs of thy frog have I not eaten. This is a faithful man, a born again Christian living with the heathen, living in a system of the world which is Raban. Laban is a representation of the world and how crooked it is against those faithful people. He says, you are sheep, you are eagles, I did not eat, even you are rams. You know, he testifies to Raban the kind of a person he was all 20 years in bondage in his uncle's house. 
nikiwa kwa nyumba yako miaka ishirini sijakula buzi wako hata mmoja sijakula sege sijakula dorume sijakula hata moja bwana asifiwe anaonyesha ya kwamba yeye ni mtu ameoko ameokoka bwana asifiwe haleluya and verses number 30 he says that which was torn of beasts i brought not unto thee i bear the loss of it of my heart did you require it whether stolen by day or stolen by night unaona no matter how good you are to the world it will never be fair to you anasema miaka 20 mimi sijakula hata senge yako moja sijakula Higot yako moja. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Lakini anasema Munyama akija chui. Anarue buzi mmoja. Siku kuletea. Unaona? Kwa maana haukusikiliza hiyo story ati kuna buzi ilikuliwa na chui. Raban would not listen to those stories. He required that sheep from Jacob the spirit of oppression jacob was not forgiven if a lion came and tore a goat he was not spared the bible says he raban required that sheep iliwawa ukiwa wapi mimi sitai kujua kama kuna chui alikuja wewe nilipe nini mbuzi yangu he says he required it from the heart of jacob the spirit of oppression does not forgive us na wewe unatuangalia kutoka kwa popote pale unatuangalia kuna neema ya kutosha pengine ulianguka mwenye haki huanguka mara saba leo hii nimekuletea ujumbe mzuri bora katika nyumba yako you, f- you think that you are alone in your house nobody is calling you Sometimes you are looking to your phone and you wonder whether it is imeharibika but I tell you wait because the vision will bring you up again usijari watu wangapi wana wamekusosa wamekupiga wamekurusha chini the friction of the righteous they are many but the Lord shall deliver you from all of them so I want to encourage you maybe you are sick maybe you are there in debt you don't know how to pay your debts the banks are on your necks auctioneers are on your necks diseases are on your necks sicknesses are on your necks roho inakimbia damu inakimbia diabetes inakuja because of the afflictions that surround you but today i come with a very good message to you that the lord will deliver you the just though he falleth seven times he will rise again today i came to give you my hand to tell you wake up arise from that bed arise from that seat prepare put on new garments go to the church it will be better today it will not be like yesterday have hope in god have hope do not commit suicide do not run away from people call them tell them that you don't have money the lord will give you grace to continue to live and to survive because he is a gracious god and he is not desire us that you fall god does not want you to fail he want you to succeed and that's the reason why all the calamities surrounding you he will remove them and give you a new standing and you will be joyful and you'll be peaceful and the, your latter end will be better than the former let's let me pray for you god almighty i bless my viewer from wherever they are viewing i speak of the raising of their hearts raising of their businesses raising of their health i bless them revive their shops revive whatever that is failing i pray that you re- revive even the relationships that has fallen bring them together with their husbands with their wives and reunite them with their children because you are a good god you have said that the righteous 
will fall seven times, but God, you have said, they will raise again. I pray that you raise them, that they may worship and praise you for your name. In Jesus' name, uh, probably you are not born again. Say this short prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Write my names in the book of life. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. And the day you come, take me into your city. In Jesus' name, you are born again. Look for a church today. Do not stay in the house. Go to the church, wherever you are in, in your locality. Make sure you visit a church and worship with them. And God bless you. I am Leverage, Dr. David Karifingari. And I welcome you one of these days. Visit this church. We are located in Thika. You find Gatito Junction. There's a goat market. Come 400 meters. We are there. And uh, we will be blessed together with you. May God bless you. We meet next Sunday. Same television and same time. Uh, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Tua pigia makofi. And na mponwe na mungu baba. Asante sana. May God bless you. Thank you. Our joy, our hope, our confidence is in Jesus. He's our firm foundation. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand.